Hey everybody, this is Mike T. Bricker coming at you with a, for a review today of a recent build that I have completed. Uh, this is the Lego Ninjago movie, uh, Destiny's Bounty. And it the, or it was, 2,295 pieces of pure bliss putting this uh, set together. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little review today of what I thought about it. Um, actually, I've never seen the Ninjago movie itself, but uh, uh, many of the uh, Ninjago sets uh, are pretty intriguing. Uh, Lego's done a nice job uh, assembling those and putting those together for fans. Um, and I'm just going to do a small review today of what I thought of uh, building uh, Destiny's Bounty. Um, it's got a lot of secret compartments and hidden chambers, uh, which I'll take you through. Um, you can see the detail here. Uh, on the uh, lower portion of the ship as I zoom in here uh, you can definitely see um, you can see the anchors uh, the anchors actually go up and down here give you a quick uh, shot of that happening um, but they do go up and down um, pretty neat uh, and then they do go back up uh, as such uh, but uh, I'm going to take you through uh, many of the compartments right now uh, I'll show you the minifigures and uh, you can tell me what you think in the comments below. So here's the uh, minifigures of this set. Uh, it does come with uh, seven minifigures. I do not know the names, uh, but I will take you down the line. What I'm pretty impressed about myself is the weaponry. I do like their weaponry a lot. This guy's got right here this bazooka looking thing right here. I think that's pretty cool. He came with a bazooka and a sword. Um, I thought that was pretty neat and as I just go down the line here. The weaponry is pretty cool. He just has a sword, but he's got the two swords on the back of him right there. Um, this guy came with a sword and some kind of a hammer looking thing. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, this guy's got this uh, thing on a chain. Looks like a blade on a chain right there, but that was pretty cool. Um, this guy came with a spear. Uh, this one came with a bow and arrow. He's got the quiver on the back of him there you can see. Uh, I actually do know the name of this guy, Master Wu. Um, I don't know why I know that, um, uh, but he's got his little uh, walking stick there. So the minifigures of this set are pretty neat, um, uh, and they add to the ship pretty nicely. This is a front view of Destiny's Bounty, and I wanted to do this because I saw the, uh, the detail that LEGO really put into these two uh, dragons in the beginning. Uh, in the front of the ship, and I just thought that was really cool. So these are the uh, two dragons are on the front. Um, you can kind of see down below, uh, but you can see they put. Uh, he's got. They got some teeth. Um, I imagine they're probably breathing some fire out as the ship is going along. Uh, but the detail that Lego put into these is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so those are pretty neat builds. Um, so definitely, Destiny's Bounty by itself. These two dragons definitely worth it. I really enjoyed uh, putting these together, uh, and it really adds to uh, the overall ship layout. I wanted to show the main deck of uh, Destiny's Bounty here, so you can see it's got a lot of details on here. It's got a lot of plants. You can see the fishing poles right there. Um, you can see there's some lamps over here. I like this little um, this little uh, string of lights and flags that goes across the masts themselves. You see you got a little lantern going on here and on the other side you can also see it's kind of identical it's got some plants on the side uh, you can see over here they got a orange and a, uh, a silver fish going on over here uh, but uh, the overall uh, deck of the ship is pretty nice so um, you can see that down below here there's some kind of a prison cell and I'm going to open that up and show you here coming up here's the upper level of Destiny's Bounty, you can see that the uh, steering wheel is up here. Uh, you can see that again. There's another. Looks like there's another little hidden compartment down there, which there is, and they have a uh, some uh, sea instruments up here with a map. Um, but uh, that is all hidden, as you can see right here. These these little uh, shades come down, and they go to, on both sides uh, of the ship. Um, and that's just the very upper level itself. I'll just pan around here real quick just to show you the 
uh, backside of Destiny's Bounty. Uh, you can see in here that they've got a, a telescope. Um, you can see that the name of the ship here is done very nice. Um, now those are two stickers. Uh, and then you can see down below here the rudder uh, that steers the ship. Uh, but the back end of the ship does look very nice. It's got a nice little window looking in there. Um, and then, the, of course, the flag on the back. So I just took the upper level of it off. And uh, you can see that uh, there it is on the side. Um, but it, it does expose this chamber over here, which seems to be a weapons chamber. Uh, you can see the crossbow on this wall over here. You can see the weapons in the barrel over here. Uh, on this back wall over here, there seems to be some sort of scroll. Um, and then you can see the totem there uh, in the corner of the room. And then if I pan around here to the other side of the wall, uh, you can see uh, that you've got the uh, swords uh, on that wall there. Uh, so this is definitely a pretty cool part of the room, probably where they do a lot of training. Um, and that is the weapons uh, part of the room. Uh, moving right along here, you can see that the top level was taken off, and then there's another level that I took off there. I just talked about the weapons room. There it is. That's removable uh, because you can see here in Destiny's Bounty, there is, seems to be a, a main living quarters down below deck, uh, which gives this uh, ship here three levels, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see there's a bed over here. You can see the more weapons on the wall over here. Seems like there's a, a dresser with some items on there. Um, for whoever seems to be sleeping down there, um, there is a, uh, a letter over here that's not open. Um, but uh, this seems to be the main living quarters uh, of Destiny's Bounty. Uh, and a very nice detail here uh, that LEGO did uh, with putting the three levels. There's definitely a lot of playability with the set. So uh, that is the bottom level of the back of the ship. And last but not least, you can see that little part comes off of the decking. Uh, and you can see over here there's another little chamber. Uh, again, more weapons. Uh, this ship has a ton of weapons if you're into that. Uh, uh, definitely uh, awesome uh, for playability. Uh, you can see uh, there seems to be a toilet over here. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, and you can see that this leads back into the main uh, living quarters. You can see the bed over there on the other side. Um, that's a pretty good view right there uh, seeing through into the living quarters uh, they can just come over here uh, those little Ninjago dudes and practice their weapons training um, and, uh, and I guess go to the bathroom um, uh, on the ship so that is uh, the last uh, little chamber of the ship uh, and you can see here I'm gonna pan back uh, you can see um, the ship does come uh, unassembled into many different parts uh, so that you can see um, the innermost part of the ship. And I'll try to put it back together here for you as you're watching. Uh, that piece goes right on here like that, pops right in. You gotta watch uh, for the uh, fishing poles there. Uh, but it should snap in uh, fairly easy. There you go. Uh, and then, of course, we've got this part over here. That is going to fit nicely into here. Snaps right in. And then the uppermost level, which I just broke that off, and that's okay. Uppermost level just sets right in here. As so. That snaps in there. Uh, and finally, uh, the sail in the back pops right on here as so uh, and then these two one of these goes right here and the other one should successfully go into this right here and the ship is now successfully back together minus the one little piece uh, but uh, overall uh, definitely Definitely worth the build. Um, it's going to go very nicely into my uh, ultimate collection. I tried to put it into the city uh, for many of you that thought I might be putting it in the city. Um, 
doesn't really fit, I mean, size-wise. Um, I don't have a big enough water space, but uh, I will show you where that's going to go next. Okay, so where does Destiny's Bounty sit in the Ultimate Collector series? So as we come into the Ultimate Collector's room, uh, you can see here, you probably notice it up here on this second level. Uh, I moved Voltron down. I uh, moved Slave 1 down a little bit, and for now she's going to sit proudly uh, near Silent Mary. So I'm going to put her right next to another uh, beauty of a ship. That is the Silent Mary. Uh, and here is uh, Destiny's Bounty. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the review. If it did anything for you, you may want to pick this one up. Excellent build. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm Mike T. Bricker. I'm out.